back with another Racing Rivals video today, and today we're going to be going over the top 10 most forgotten cars in the showroom in Racing Rivals. Should be good. If you like this video, drop a like, and make sure you subscribe if you haven't yet, and uh, stay tuned. For number 10, we're going to have to go for the Volkswagen Sir... I don't even know how to say this. I think it's Volkswagen R. This car is super forgotten. I don't even know anyone who barely collects these. Very underrated. It's still pretty slow, but it's an alright. Um, as it is a four-wheel drive car for 1650 tunes. It's pretty good. So, uh, yeah, that's number 10. For number 9, we're going to go with the Bentley Continental Super Sports. This car is an S-Class vehicle. Super slow. Uh, it's, it's, it's classy, you know, James Bond type car, Mafia type car, but uh, nobody ever has these. I've never seen people drive these in any lobby. It's super slow. It's dumb. They definitely did. They could give it a buff or make it a little bit faster, but uh, yeah, so that's number nine. For number eight, we have another, well, another S-Class, Ford GT. This car is super awesome, classic. Uh, it's featured in a couple cool movies. got Fast and the Furious 5. Uh, that was a great movie, awesome scene. But uh, it, this car is pretty good. It runs, don't quote me, but I'm pretty sure it runs 7.9, 7, low 7.9s. So it's all right, definitely not the fastest S-Class at all, but it's all right. Number six, we're going to go with the Hyundai Genesis Coupe. This is a B-Class car running 8.9s, um, low 8.9s. It's an alright vehicle. It's pretty plain Jane. I don't know. It definitely, it's just like a mid-B-Class, like low B-Class vehicle. Almost the, most of the B-Class run 8.9s, 8.8s, other than the fast ones. Down to number five, we're going to go with the Ford F-150 Lightning. This truck, again with the trucks, there's only two in the game, the GMC and this. I don't know many people that ever run these. Again, this car is running nine seconds as a B-Class, super slow. Uh, it was cool in the truck events when they did back in the day. Those were cool. Uh, it looks cool, but other than that, just pretty basic. I'm going to go with the RX-7. I know some people do collect these, and they're awesome vehicles. Again, there's another Fast and Furious car. Pretty cool in the first one. Uh, Toretto races in the first race in number one. This B-Class, it runs, again, the 8.9, flow 8.9s. It's pretty cool, but um, it's just very slow again. I'll write the top three. So this McLaren F1 is definitely... One of the most forgotten cars. You never see people racing this, even though it's super sweet. It only comes with one stock car, and uh, yeah, it's all right. But again, I think it's running in the. I think it might be running. Yeah, it's running in the eight point eights. No, sorry, seven point eights. Um, the S class, but it's it's a pretty basic car. This is the number two most forgotten car in the game. Um, well, number one, it's tied between two, but. This is the Pagani Hybra. I know I'm saying that wrong. Um, used to be a decently good option when it was actually in the S class. Um, then they made it R class. A couple wow, a while back. I've been playing this game since 2012, but uh, it's been a while now. But, so yeah, that's the car. Now I put this as, if these two are tied, the next two, but this is the Scion TC. It was a campaign car back uh, not too long ago, probably about a year, I don't know. But this car was, it's alright, pretty cool. Pigpen was a good driver at this car, eh? if you're watching Pigpen. You're, uh, you're still really good at driving this car. And now let's head into the other number one, which, again, you probably wouldn't know, but it is... The Nissan, Nissan, where is it here? It is the 1993 Silva. This car, never see it, ever, unless you're running 1650 C-Class Lobby Tune to get go against the Chargers and the SVTs. Other than that, you never see this car. It's an awesome car. It's, it's just, it's, well, it's, not, it's not, it's good for the 1650, but... 
it's kind of ugly looking. No offense. It's not as nice as some other cars, especially compared to like a 2002 Skyline GTR. Everyone loves this. Uh, one of the best cars in the Fast and Furious franchise, but just look at this car. Bam. So that's going to conclude it, this video for today, guys. If you enjoyed, please make sure to smash that like button. And if you haven't yet, subscribe for more of this content. Hope you have a great day.